These tracks are fresh, but they split off in opposite directions. Illidan must be getting help from someone. Your orders, mistress. You watchers split up into two parties. Scour the woods. Find what you can. We'll meet you further up the coast. Remember, sisters, if you find Illidan, do not attempt to take him without the rest of us. He is far too dangerous to tackle alone. Yes, mistress. The rest of you, follow me. Guilty that Wilson. village has been razed. The bodies have been mutilated. Do you suppose demons did this? Illidan's stench hangs heavily over this place. But those tracks were not made by any demons I know of. Be wary, my sisters. There's no telling what horrors Illidan has called to his side. Mistress, the Furbogs have succumbed to the forest's corruption. It's as if they've lost themselves to... YouTube Music Premium 让你可以享受零广告的聆听八千万首官方歌曲，你可以一直听孩子最爱的歌曲，听到天荒地老。试试 YouTube Music Premium。
我很喜欢青春养成记，然后我不讨厌卢卡的夏天，我觉得灵魂急转弯还有二分之一的魔法都蛮好看的。但是要我回想上一次看皮克斯电影看到哭出来是什么时候？我真的是想不起来，至少那种让我觉得印象深刻，然后觉得哇，真的有触碰到我内心的，是真的没有。我上一部看到哭出来的动画片，反而是来自迪士尼的《魔法满屋》。这个等一下我们可以再谈为什么。大家喜欢看皮克斯电影，特别是成年人也喜欢皮克斯电影，是因为皮克斯从来都不会把自己局限于给小孩子看的电影，他们从来不会小看观众的理解能力。皮克斯先是从 What If 出发，制造出一个充满想象力的世界之后，再投入全力诉说角色的故事。皮克斯的角色之所以让人觉得有血有肉，正是因为他们从来不会依赖解释性的对白交代角色的心境，而是直接透过故事演给你看。这些故事是非常有沉浸感的，仿佛带你来到那个当下，看似平凡却十足珍贵，是每个人都可以有连结的。而在角色的曲线推动的同时，整个世界观也可以相呼应着角色的旅程，就是皮克斯功力深厚的地方。那这次的元素方程式在说故事方面表现得如何呢？我知道这样说很老套，但是真的以皮克斯的期待标准去看的话呢，它真的就是只有勉强及格而已。以这个元素城为背景，足以看出这一次团队的目标打造出像是动物方程式或是脑筋急转弯那样充满奇思妙想的世界观的野心。这部电影呢，在上映之前也一度被视为是2023年度的皮克斯黑马。不过，当故事重点其实是极为简单的水火相融的爱情故事。是充满创意的世界观，反而变成了硬伤。当观众将注意力和期待放在探索世界观上，就没有办法好好享受雪地和小岩的爱情故事，甚至看完会有一种就这样的感觉。这次要说爱情故事，当然可以，但是在这之前呢，皮克斯已经有了一部瓦力，立下一个难以被超越的高标。所以元素方程式。
next event, you've got 30 seconds.
YouTube Premium 结合林果高 YouTube 与 YouTube Music 应用程式，免费试用一个月。
You are late, Prince Kaelthas. I thought you elves prided yourselves on punctuality. It could not be helped, Lord Garethos. We ran into a group of night elves from across the sea, and- I am not interested in your fanciful excuses. You elves are here to serve the Alliance, thus you will obey my commands to the letter. Is that clear? Yes, Lord Garethos. Now, the undead have begun a new offensive to retake Dalaran. Their primary strike force marched south through Silverpine, but we managed to halt its advance at the base of the mountains. My men are ready to fight, my lord. When shall we leave for the front? We will be leaving immediately, but your people will be staying here. Our scouts report that a second strike force may be heading this way from the east. I need you to repair the outlying observatory so that we can monitor that region. But, my lord, we are warriors, not- You have your orders, Prince Kael'thas. I trust your elven ears heard them clearly enough. Move out! Insolent son of a- Let's get this over with. We'll have to find a way across the lake to reach the outlying gold mine. Naga, 
You fought for the demon Illidan. We are on our own now, good prince. I am called Lady Vash. My brethren and I come in peace to offer you our aid. You have nothing I need, witch. Is that so? I thought you might require boats to reach the observatories you seek. And you would give these freely? Why should I trust you, my lady? Our two races share a common ancestry, Kale. Now, against the undead, we share a common peril. These boats are merely a gesture of goodwill. Then... I accept your offer. Thank you. Hail, Lord Gerathos. The observatories have been repaired as you requested. We were just about to- I received ill news from the front line. Is it true that you've consorted with the vile Naga? Well, yes, my lord. They helped us cross the lake. I assure you they pose no threat to us or to- They are inhuman and must be crushed like any other enemy. Be careful where you place your loyalties, Blood Elf. I will not tolerate treason in my ranks. Now I must return to the front. You will remain here and wait for further orders. Greetings, Prince Kale. I bring word from Grand Marshal Garethos. What news from the front? I bring word from Grand Marshal Garethos. What news from the front? Apparently, the observatories you repaired detected a large undead force massing nearby. Lord Garethos has commanded that you crush the undead before they can march on Dalaran. That doesn't sound too difficult. Unfortunately, your forces may be a little thin. You see, Lord Garethos has also ordered that all foot soldiers, cavalry, and support teams report to the front lines immediately. You men, move out! This is preposterous. Am I to assault the undead with nothing but sticks and harsh language? The Grand Marshal has great confidence in your... abilities. Be creative. Garethos. I'm starting to hate that man. Prince Kale, they've taken over our outlying bases. We're completely surrounded. Those bases are lost. We'll just have to improvise. Ishnu Daldir, Prince Kale. We've come to join your fight against the vile dead. Greetings, Lady Vash. I would welcome your aid gladly. But the commander I serve does not approve of your kind. I do not see him here sharing your peril. Let me bolster your forces with my own. If not, you and your brethren will surely fall. What you say is true, but I... I accept your offer, Vash. Good. Let's get to it then. You have my thanks, lady. This victory would not have been possible without your aid, though I fear I may have doomed myself by accepting it. The human you serve trusts no race but his own. His sense of honor runs no deeper than his tolerance. It is loyalty and duty that bind me to him, and to this failing alliance. But now those tenets seem as distant as our ruined homeland. All I know is that my brethren and I hunger for something more. Then perhaps, young Kale, it is time to find a new path to power and glory. I can't explain it exactly, but ever since our homeland was destroyed, my brethren and I have felt empty, almost drained of our spirit. There is a, a hunger now that has hardened our hearts. I know this hunger, Kale. Like us, your people are addicted to magic. 
It flowed through your veins for over 10,000 years. And now, with the corruption of your land and the Sunwell that empowered you... We have been cut off from our power, from our birthright. Without a new source of magic, the people will surely die. There are other founts of power in this world, Kale. Demons, for instance. You speak of madness, my lady. We will never be that desperate. Your aversion is understandable, but still. Prince Kale, Grand Marshal Garethos has arrived. He has brought a full battalion with him. Damn. Bosh, you'd best leave. I cannot guarantee your people's safety. Naga warriors! Forget about them! So, Kale, you've shown your true colors at last. I knew you were in league with those serpents. Now I have all the proof I need to execute every traitorous one of you. Please, my lord, spare my men. It was my decision to- Save your breath. I never trusted you, vain, glorious elves. It was a mistake to accept you into the Alliance in the first place. Now, at long last, you'll be dealt with appropriately. Take them away! How could I have let this happen to my brethren? Locked in these cells, our thirst for magic will devour us. It'll all be over soon, traitor. Lord Garethos plans to execute the lot of you at dawn. Sunrise can't get here fast enough. These elves give me the creeps. Don't worry. This prison was built by the Kirin Tor to keep their pets from getting loose. The elves' magic is useless inside those enchanted cells. Greetings, Kale. I assume we're not too late? On the contrary, Vash. Your timing is impeccable. Once again, I am in your debt. But even if we free my brethren, there is nowhere to run. Garethos' forces outnumber us ten to one. You stand at a dangerous crossroads. You can either stay here and be slaughtered by human hands, or choose a darker path to freedom. What is this darker path? In the city above us stands a portal. A gateway that leads to other worlds. My master Illidan awaits us on the other side of that portal. Lead your people to him, and he will forge you a new destiny. He will sate your people's burning hunger. Side with a rogue demon, or lead my people to their certain deaths. There is no choice here, Vash. We'll have to free my lieutenants first. They'll be able to rally the others while we assault the exit. As you will. First, they'll be able to rally the others while we assault the exit. As you will. I sense powerful spirits stirring nearby. Arthas murdered a number of Archmagi when the Scourge ravaged this land. Wizards and visible spirits can find no rest. Perhaps we should track them down and give them peace. I said something elusive. Outstanding. You've gone as far as you're going to go, Prince Kale. Make it easy on yourself. You served the Kirin Tor well, Kassan, but the old order has passed away. My people and I are leaving this damn prison, one way or another. It's a shame to see a good wizard gone bad. Do what you have to do, lad. My brethren are assembled, Bosch. Now all we need to do is reach this portal of yours and- Hold, good prince. We'll need to keep the portal open long enough to usher everyone through. But Garethos' forces will likely attack it before we can make our escape. Then I will hold him at bay. I'll buy you all the time you'll need.
quickly, my brethren. Take your positions. Garethos' forces will be here any moment. We have reached the portal, Kale. Now we'll attempt to open it. Prince Kale, the other engineers and I helped to build Dalaran's original defenses. We could salvage materials from these ruins and construct whatever defensive towers you need. Glad to hear it. You'd best get moving. Blasted elves. I knew they'd try something like this. Forget about those damn towers. I want that portal destroyed. Those traders aren't going anywhere. Use these explosives on the portal. Whoever destroys the portal will be a hero. We've done it. The portal is open. Let the exodus begin. Well done, Bosch. If we build more strategic towers, we should be able to hold off Garethos' forces long enough for our people to get through. You'd better be right. If the portal falls, none of us will survive. I bring pandemonium! Kale, everyone is through. Fall back and we'll close the portal behind us. All right, men, pull back. Back to the portal. Now, young prince, we take one final step towards destiny. What is this desolate place, Vash? This shattered world is called Outland, young prince. It is all that remains of Draenor, the former homeland of the Orcish Horde. Amazing. I remember when Khadgar led the Alliance expedition here years ago. He almost succeeded in wiping the orcs out for good. In an attempt to escape, Ner'zhul opened a number of massive dimensional gateways. But all they succeeded in doing was tearing the planet apart. Yes. And now, amongst the ruins of this dead world, we have come to find the Master. Illidan. Why here? What could possibly interest him in this barren wasteland? That I do not know. Regardless, we should seek him out quickly. Agreed. Actually, I'm anxious to meet him again. If he can cure my people of their hunger for magic, I will gladly pledge myself to his service. This place is unnerving. We've marched for three days and seen no signs of life. Still, I can't shake the feeling that we're not alone out here. We aren't. I caught the scent just as the wind shifted. Night Elves, what could they be doing here? The Warden Maiev swore to capture Illidan at any cost. She must have brought her warriors here to hunt him. There! Illidan lies chained in that cage! The Night Elves must be taking him to their stronghold! Then we must rescue him before they reach safety. Elves must be taking him to their stronghold. Then we must rescue him before they reach safety. Lady Vash, your rescue was most timely. The thought of spending another 10,000 years in Maiev's prison was not a pleasant one. We could not forsake you, Lord Illidan. But you owe your freedom to them. Who are they, Vash? The young elf looks familiar, but... They call themselves the Blood Elves, my lord. They are the last mortal descendants of the Highborn, who served you long ago. This is Prince Kael'thas. 
He and his brethren have come to bask in your wisdom and pledge themselves to your will. You were right to come to me, Kale. I share the pain of your addiction, your hunger for magic. Can you help us, Lord Illidan? Can you cure us? There is no cure, young one. But there are ways to feed the hunger. Follow me and I will grant your people more magic than they can imagine. So be it. Lord Illidan. My fellow Blood Elves and I humbly pledge ourselves to your service. Then arise, young Kale. You shall be my right hand, and the harbinger of my wrath. What of your plans, Master? Hmm. Many months after the Legion's defeat at the Battle of Mount Hyjal, I was visited by one of the last great demon lords, Gil'jaeden. Illidan. You have been both friend and foe to the Burning Legion. But by consuming the skull of Gul'dan, you sealed our defeat in this world. I come to offer you a second chance to serve us. What would you have me do, Great One? My creation, the Lich King, has betrayed me. He dared to break the pact that binds him to my will. But his spirit still lies trapped inside the frozen throne of Ice Crown. Destroy it for me, and I will grant you your heart's desire. It shall be done, Great One. It shall be done. At Dalaran, I attempted to use the Eye of Sargeras to melt away the polar ice caps surrounding the Ice Crown Glacier. If the spell had succeeded, the Lich King would have been vanquished forever. But the cursed Night Elves intervened. And the spell went awry. Given my failure, I fled to this desolate place to evade Kill Jaden's wrath. Now, if I am to remain here in exile, we will need to ensure that Kill Jaden's agents have been cleansed from the land. Long ago, after Dranor's explosion, a brutal pit lord named Magtheridon rallied the surviving orcs and took control of Outland. Since then, his forces have grown strong. How, Master? If most of the orcs were killed when this world exploded, how has he bolstered his ranks? By using the very portals that tore the planet apart. Many of Ner'zhul's dimensional gates still stand, young prince. Magtheridon lures scores of hapless demons through them daily. Then we must seal them permanently. Yes. We will seek out each of the gates, and I will close them myself. Once they have been sealed, we will move against Magtheridon's Black Citadel and claim Outland as our own. Elder Sage of the Draenei, Lord Illidan promised to rid us of our ancient enemies in exchange for our loyalty. These cursed orcs of Magtheridon, a terrible lord whose black citadel lies to the west. Under his command, the orcs hunted us to the brink of extinction. But now, with Lord Illidan behind us, we will fight back and retake our ancestral lands. We also serve Illidan, Old One. Very well, stranger. We've done it, Master. The dimensional gates are all sealed. There's no way for Magtheridan to call reinforcements now. True, but his standing forces are still considerable. Assaulting his Black Citadel will not be easy, Kale. I wouldn't have it any other way. Our enemies draw near, Lord Magtheridon. 
These upstarts are tiresome gnats, nothing more. The might of Magtheridon cannot be denied. I am the Lord of Outland. Those who dispute my rule will soon regret their folly. Magtheridon has grown strong over the years, but he has had few real foes to contend with. He has become decadent and complacent. The boisterous cur cannot match our cunning or our will. This will be a glorious battle, Master. Though Magtheridon's forces vastly outnumber ours, your warriors are prepared to fight to the end. I am pleased by your people's zeal, young king. Their spirits and powers have been honed in this harsh wilderness. Their courage alone may be enough to... Lord Illidan, new arrivals come to greet you. We Draenei have fought the Orcs and their demon masters for generations. Now at last, we will end their curse forever. We are yours to command, Lord Illidan. As I promised, your people shall have their vengeance, Akama. By night's end, we will all be drunk with it. Bosh, Kale, give the final order to strike. The hour of wrath has come. I do not know you, stranger, but your power is vast. Are you an agent of the Legion? Have you been sent to test me? <laughs> I have come to replace you. You're a relic, Magtheridon. A ghost of a past age. The future is mine. From this moment on, Outland and all of its denizens will bow to me. Hear me now, you trembling mortals. I am your lord and master. Illidan reigns supreme. What is this, Vash? Where did this storm come from? Keep your head down, fool. Something terrible is drawing near. Foolish little mongrel. You failed to destroy the Frozen Throne as I commanded. And still you thought to hide from me in this forsaken backwater. I thought you to be more cunning, Illidan. Kiltaden. I was merely set back. I was attempting to bolster my forces. The Lich King will be destroyed. I promise you. Indeed. Still, these servitors you've gathered show some promise. I will give you one last chance, Illidan. Destroy the Frozen Throne, or face my eternal wrath. Perhaps hiding here was not the most prudent decision. Still, the quest lies before us. Will you follow me into the cold heart of death itself? The Naga are yours to command, Lord Illidan. Where you go, we follow. The Blood Elves are yours as well, Master. We will drive the Scourge before us and shatter the Frozen Throne as you command.
Illidan's stench hangs heavy. The rest of you, follow me. Guilty that Wilson. village has been razed. The bodies have been mutilated. Do you suppose demons did this? Illidan's stench hangs heavily over this place. But those tracks were not made by any demons I know of. Be wary, my sisters. There's no telling what horrors Liden has called to his side. Mistress, the Furbogs have succumbed to the forest's corruption. It's as if they've lost themselves to mindless rage. Their tribes suffered greatly during the Legion's invasion. They cannot be saved. My party was attacked by a bloodthirsty wildkin. Apparently, Illidan's passing drove the creature mad. There's no telling how many more innocents it might harm. This madness must end. We will find the creature and put it down. There, mistress. Those must be the creatures we're after. Legion, my heroes. You are no match for the Naga. Naga? Many craven races have tempted our wrath over the centuries. None have survived. Wretched woman, we will retake the surface world and put an end to your vile race once and for all. These poor folk were slain just like the others. Illidan has much to answer for. He'll wish he were still chained in his cell when I get through with him. But these wrecks, why would they destroy ships? I don't know. Wait. He may have taken to the sea. Hurry, sisters. The port of Nendis lies to the north. Perhaps there we can find a ship and set sail after Illidan. I cannot allow Illidan to escape again. We must slay those Naga before they burn the ships. You are too late, little warden. The Master has already set sail for distant shores. However, he wished to thank you for the hospitality you provided during his imprisonment. He asked us to repay you in kind. You're certainly welcome to try, monster. Mistress, do you believe we can defeat Illidan even if we find him? Illidan has grown powerful, of that there is no doubt. He consumed the energies of the Skull of Gul'dan. Now he is neither Night Elf nor Demon, but something more. Mistress, why would the Naga harbor so much hatred for us? We must trust time to reveal all things. Now hurry, Illidan has a considerable lead on us. We must capture him before he causes any more harm. Mistress, we followed Illidan's course due east, as you asked. But these strange islands do not appear on any of our maps. I suspected as much. These islands must have been formed only recently. What makes you say that? The ruins all around us, Nysha. I recognize them. This was once the great city of Suramar, built before our civilization was blasted beneath the sea 10,000 years ago. But how could... Are you suggesting that these islands were somehow raised from the seafloor? Perhaps. Though there are few powers left in the world capable of raising islands from the deeps. Regardless, it's a mystery we'll have to solve later. We'd best head inland and set up a base camp. Once we're situated, we'll pick up Illidan's trail. Here, sisters. Let's establish a base so we can continue our hunt for Illidan. An 
an orc. I smell the stench of demons about him. Rest easy, stranger. This old wanderer has no quarrel with you or your kin. I am Drakthul, once a powerful warlock of the Storm Reaver clan. Now, I am the last of my kind. What are you doing here? Your pardon, lady, but I am hunted by restless ghosts. They've chased me day and night for nearly twenty years. Perhaps if you silence them for me, I will tell you my tale. I'll consider it. The dead will trouble you no more, old orc. Thank you, stranger. Now, hear my tale. Nearly twenty years ago, the great warlock Gul'dan raised these islands from the deeps. He sought to unearth an ancient vault that held the remains of the Dark Titan. Sargeras, you speak of the Legion's creator. The same. After Sargeras's defeat ages ago, his remains were locked away in an undersea tomb. Gul'dan believed that opening the tomb would grant him the Dark Titan's power. For his pride, he and the rest of our clan were torn to shreds by crazed demons. I have wandered these isles ever since, haunted by the ghosts of my slaughtered comrades. Your tale is as intriguing as it is dire, Drakthul. It's a shame your ghosts lie silent. You deserve far worse than their company for what you set loose in this place. Sargeras is found. You, my trusted servants, must remain here and guard the entrance. If that wretched warden managed to reach this island, she'll certainly try to follow us. Illidan. I knew we'd find him. We'll have to fight our way through the Naga's defenses in order to follow him. We locked Illidan beneath the earth long ago. I intend to do so again. Now quickly, my sisters. Illidan must be stopped at all costs. I have a bad feeling about this, mistress. It's too quiet. It feels as if we're walking into a trap. Still, we must press on, Nysha. If Illidan finds whatever it is he's seeking, he could... Wait, look there. Strange. These are orcish runes. They were written by... Gul'dan, when he first opened this tomb twenty years ago. What do they say? Apparently, he logged his journey through the tomb's depths. These runes seem to depict that history. Quickly, you fools! Fan out and search for the primary passageway! We must reach the Chamber of the Eye before the tomb's guardians awaken! Spineless cowards, I said move. Now, Sargeras, I will claim whatever's left of your power and bring this wretched world to its knees. There's no telling what Gul'dan and his lackeys awoke in this foul place. We must be cautious. There, more of Gul'dan's glyphs. Interesting. They continue the Warlock's tale. Blasted, feeble-minded weaklings. They're all likely dead by now. Still, I must press on. 
My power alone should be enough to... <laughs> that laughter... Is that you, Sargeras? You seek to mock me? We'll see who laughs last, demon, when I claim your burning eye for my own. Again, he referenced this mysterious eye. What could it be? An artifact, no doubt. It must have contained tremendous demonic power to lure Gul'dan as it did. Suffer. Strange. It's a statue of Ajara, the great queen of old. She led our people to ruin by consorting with Sargeras and his burning legion. Only, I don't recall her ever having a tail. You've come far enough, little warden. Your vaunted night elf justice has no jurisdiction here. What would you know of us or our justice, Naga Witch? Why, my dear, we Naga were once night elves. We were Ashara's chosen, the Highborn, banished beneath the cruel seas when the Well of Eternity imploded around us. Impossible. Cursed. Transformed. We have waited ten thousand years to retake our rightful place in the world. And now, with Lord Illidan's help, we shall. Not while I draw breath. Your courage is commendable, but it shall avail you nothing. Look, mistress, more of Gul'dan's glyphs. Yes, Gul'dan's script seems to grow more desperate. It reads that he was... Ambushed by the Guardians. I am dying. If my servants had not abandoned me, I could have claimed the eye and... Damn you, Sargeras. I won't be beaten like this. I am Gul'dan. I am darkness incarnate. It cannot end like this. This is as far as he got. The runes simply trail off. I cannot imagine what horrors Gul'dan faced in his final moments. <laughs> so... Warden Shadowsong, you've made it at last. I knew you would. You have much to pay for, Illidan. I'm taking you back to your cell. Naivete does not suit you. When I consumed the power of Gul'dan's skull, I inherited his memories, especially those of this place, and the dark prize he coveted. Yes. The power of Sargeras. You would claim it as your own. That power is beyond my reach, little warden. But this... The Eye of Sargeras contains all the power I'll need to rid this wretched world of my enemies once and for all. Ironic that you should be its first victim. You're insane. Isolation can do that to the mind. Now, after all the long centuries you kept me chained in darkness, it is only fitting that I bury you in turn.
What happened, mistress? Where are Nisha and the others? They are lost. Illidan claimed the Eye of Sargeras and used its power to bury our sisters alive. Now he intends to finish the rest of us off. We have no choice but to sail back to Kalimdor and warn Shondo Stormrage of what his brother intends. It's too late, mistress. Illidan's forces have arrived. We cannot escape, but perhaps we can send for reinforcements. Summon the runner. She must reach the shoreline and sail back to Kalimdor. With any luck, Shondo Stormrage will reach us before we're overrun. Be swift, sister. The runner is in trouble. Protect her! Tor Ilisar Theranol! Illum grant that she reaches Shondo Stormrage in time. If not, Illidan may never be stopped. Mundrassel's roots seem to be healing well. I wish I could say the same for Felwood. I fear the Legion's corruption will scar the Glade permanently. Your druids will think of something. Perhaps Isera or Alexstrasza could lend their... Your pardon, Shandor Stormridge, Priestess Tyrande. But she insisted that she be allowed to see you. Who are you, girl? What is so urgent? I am a servant of the Warden, Maiev Shadowsong. She who pledged to hunt down the betrayer, Illidan. Illidan? Explain yourself. Your pardon, Shondo. But your brother has raised a dark army from the sea and stolen a powerful demonic artifact. Even now, my mistress battles him on the Broken Isles. She requires immediate reinforcements. I will go. I will lead the Sentinels there myself. No, my love. The druids and I can handle. I am the one who set him free. The responsibility is mine. Then we shall both go. If this girl's tale is true, Maiev will need all the help she can get. Hold your ground, my warriors. Goddess willing, Shondo Stormrage will come. We've landed safely, but a few of our ships may have run aground on the outlying islands. I hate to leave any of our forces behind, but we simply have no time to wait. My owls have already scouted ahead of us and found Maiev's location. She and her forces are under attack, but we'll need to pass through the jungle to reach her. Perhaps force of nature will speed our way. We'd best make haste. I doubt Maiev's forces can hold out much longer. Just as I suspected, our ships did run aground here. The special allies I brought from Ashenvale should be somewhere in the vicinity. Special allies? Just keep searching. You'll know them when you see them. Illune be praised. I knew you would come, Shondo Stormrage. I'm glad we reached you in time, Maev. Priestess Taronda. I'm surprised you came in person. Are you here to absolve your guilty conscience? I did what I had to do, Maya. You are in no position to judge me. What you did was murder my Watchers and set the Betrayer free. It is you who should be locked in a cage. Stop this, both of you. We're not out of danger yet. Maev, what's the situation here? There are no resources left in this area, Shondo. We'll need to find a gold mine if we're to marshal more troops for an assault on Illidan's compound. Very well. Let's get moving, then. Tironda, what are you doing here? This battle does not concern you. I was wrong to set you free, Illidan. I can see that now. You've become a monster. 
Raw power is no substitute for true strength, Illidan. That is why I chose your brother over you. Victory is ours. It has been an honor to fight at your side, Shondo. This battle is far from over, Maev. Illidan has yet to be accounted for. And I've seen no sign of Tyrande either. Show yourself, Illidan. It's over. Not yet, my little priestess. A pity you couldn't see things my way. Now you and the whole world will understand just what I'm capable of. Ask it off. Brother, what are you doing here? I've come to stop you, Illidan. Instead of banishing you, I should have returned you to your cage when I had the chance. I was weak then but no longer. I have sworn allegiance to a new master, brother. I have a great task to perform in his service. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to stand in my way. Don't worry, my love. We'll find Illidan wherever he runs. We'll find him. Our forces will be ready to move out soon, although we still know next to nothing about this strange land Illidan has run to. This land is called Lordaeron, Maev. It is the homeland of the Alliance that aided us at the Battle of Mount Hyjal. I was told that its kingdoms, both human and elven, were consumed by the undead scourge. These forests have suffered grievously. I must leave you both for a time. I will enter the woods and attempt to commune with the land itself. While you're gone, we'll set out and try to pick up Illidan's trail. I expect you both to stay focused on your task. You can settle your personal dispute after we've found my brother. Of course, Shondo. We'd best get moving. This was an Alliance encampment. The attack must have come recently. Strangers, my lord. They don't appear to be undead, but... Ishnu Allah, Night Elves. I am Prince Kael'thas. I must admit, I'm surprised to see your kind here. But whatever your business, I fear you will find only death and shadow in this cursed land. Ishnu Daldiab, Kael'thas. I am Maiev Shadowsong. And this is Tyrande Whisperwind. We are hunting a powerful demon that arrived here recently. Curious. I don't know about any demon, but something's riled the undead based at Dalaran. They've been hounding us day and night. We were about to abandon this post and seek refuge on the other side of the river Aravas. Hmm. Then we shall lend you our aid, young Kael. Wait! We have no time for this! Perhaps once your people are safe, you will help us hunt the demon we seek. It would be an honor, milady. We stand at a crossroads, my friends. There is a shorter path to our destination, but it will take us perilously close to an undead bastion. The other route is safer, but it will take us longer to cross the river. Both routes will be dangerous, nonetheless. Let us choose quickly and be on our way. Ah, Pyrewood Village. The River Aravas lies just beyond. Something doesn't feel right. Yes. Perhaps we should keep the caravan moving. Damn! They were waiting for us! Protect the caravan at all costs! The end. Their numbers are limitless. Show For the water. They just keep coming. We're wasting time here. I won't finish the hunt. 
The guilty will suffer. We've driven them back, but the second wave is advancing. We've run out of time. The caravan will not survive another assault. Kale, get your caravan moving across the river. I will stay behind and hold the bridge. That's very noble of you, Priestess. But you're no match for a force that vast. The goddess is my shield, Warden. Elun will grant me the strength. to save her. That current will take her straight into the heart of the undead lands. No, Kale. Taronda is a soldier. She knew the risks she took. We have a greater mission to accomplish now, and our time grows short. Your people are now safe. You will uphold your end of the bargain and help me hunt the demon I seek. This forest has suffered as much as Ashenvale. The vile blight of the Scourge has deadened countless acres of trees. If only the druids could... Oh, the earth is being torn apart. The pain is excruciating. Ancient spirits of the forest, I implore you, show me what is hidden from my sight. Show me what troubles this earth. I see the frozen land of Northrend. The very roof of the world. The land itself is being split asunder. this be? What could cause such devastation? It's working. Nothing can withstand the power of the eye. Soon now, my master's enemies will be undone, and I will claim my just reward. Thank you, great spirits. I know what must be done. I promise you, this treachery will not go unpunished. Maev, we've got to move quickly. Illidan is weaving a spell that is splitting apart the roof of the world. We must... Wait. Where is Tyrande? I am sorry, Shondo, but the priestess has fallen. We aided a band of Alliance warriors against the undead. The priestess fought valiantly, but I saw her torn apart with my own eyes. Torn apart? Tyrande, my heart. I should have been there. You can still avenge her, Shondo. Let us attack Illidan together. He is the reason we even came to this forsaken place. He is the reason for your loss. Shondo, this is Prince Kaelthas, the ally I spoke of. Greetings, Great Druid. My scouts have confirmed that this Illidan and his vile snakes are based at the ruined city of Dalaran. They are using a gem-like artifact to perform some strange ritual. They must be using the Eye of Sargeras. But why would they strike at the roof of the world? It doesn't matter. They won't live long enough to finish their spell. Illidan must be stopped once and for all. No, the spell is not done. 
It is over, brother. Your vile schemes end here. Illidan Stormrage, for recklessly endangering countless lives and threatening the very balance of the world, I hereby sentence you to death. Too much blood has been spilled on your account, Illidan. Even now, I can feel the lands of Northrend reeling from the spell you cast. Imprisonment will not be enough this time. I will execute him myself. Fools! Can you not see? The spell we channeled was meant to strike at the undead! Our common enemy. My mission was to destroy the Lich King's stronghold of Ice Crown. I'm no heed to the cost! Because of you, Tyrande is dead! What? Your pardon, Lord Stormrage, but the priestess may still be alive. She was swept down river, but it's premature to simply assume that- Silence, Kale. You told me she was torn apart. You lied to me. The betrayer's capture was our primary concern, Shondo. I needed your help. I knew you would go to her, and we would lose our chance. I- Just who is the betrayer now, woman? I must go to her immediately. Believe me, brother. Despite all our differences, you know that I would never lead Tyrande to harm. Let me help you. My naga can scour the river for us. Let me do this, at least. Very well. What? After all he's done? You would trust this traitor to- Silence! I will deal with you later. Let's go, brother. Prince Kael'thas said he last saw Tyrande being swept down this river. If she is alive, my Naga will find her. They had best return with good news, brother. The very sight of them makes my stomach turn. Where did you ever find such loathsome creatures? Believe me, brother. You do not want to know. She and her warriors fight on against the undead, but I doubt they can hold out much longer. Come forth, you mindless wretches, and taste the wrath of the Sentinels. Haloon's light shall never falter. You best hurry if you're to save her. An undead strike force. But they're completely ignoring us. What could... Tyrande. Their flying horrors fill the sky. It would be folly to send your flyers against them. We cannot depend on them now. Illidan, you must hold the undead here and prevent them from assaulting Tyrande's encampment. I will journey downriver and... No, brother. The Naga and I can reach her faster. I will go. What you say is true, but I risk much by trusting you, Illidan. I swear on my life that I will bring her back, my brother. I... Believe you. And Thoris Sathil, brother. Lord Illidan, we've discovered a dam blocking one of the river's tributaries. The dam is guarded by forest trolls, but the stream beyond it might provide us a faster route to your friend. We shall see. Illidan, what trickery is this? Have you come to finish me off personally? No, Tyrande. You must believe me. I've come to save you. Save me? Where could they be? He should have brought her back by now. Hurry! This is our last chance. risked your life for me. I don't understand. Whatever I may be, whatever I may become in this world, know that I will always look out for you, Tyrande. Tyrande! I knew you would not forsake me. 
I thought I'd lost you forever, my love. If not for Illidan's aid, I may well have. We have had much strife between us, my brother. I have known only ages of hate for you. But for my part, I wish it to end. From this day forward, let there be peace between us. You have brought much suffering to the world, Illidan. For that, you can never be forgiven. However, you saved the life of my love. For that, I will let you go. But should you ever threaten my people again... I understand, brother. Lordship over this world was never my aim. Only power. Only the magic. I've lingered here too long. I must go. By aiding you, I've betrayed my new master. If I am not careful, his wrath will be my end. Farewell, brother. Tironda. I doubt our paths will cross again. In true Falana. Fools! Have you no sense of justice? Maev, Iladen has atoned for his crimes. He is no longer a threat to... It's no use, Tyrande. She has become vengeance itself, bound forever to the hunt. I only pray that in her zeal she doesn't cause even more havoc than Illidan. Now, let's go home, beloved. We've earned our rest. I have wandered alone for many years, little Misha. Yet sometimes.